Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be talking about the latest game ideator on Ludo platform. If you go to the main uh, page here on Ludo, you'll be introduced with these two options here. Either you want to continue working on a previous game design document that you've made, or you can simply start ideating uh, with the new game ideator tool. This game ideator tool allows you to brainstorm along with the options that is presented or generated by Ludo. For example, we can click on start. Let's choose desktop and we can choose uh, we can start by choosing a genre. Let's say we would like to go for a shooter game. And it will present you with a subgenre options based on uh, the Ludo score, as you can see here, uh, there is a Ludo score of 47, 89, and there's diff different subgenres that you can choose. As you can see here, this one is 93, so it's quite high, which makes it more interesting to choose. Now, it, it depends on what type of subgenre you want to go for for your game idea while you're brainstorming it, and also taking into account that the Ludo score will affect. Uh, the market uh, potential analysis for the game idea. If we want to have a high potential game idea in the market or a high potential analysis basically, uh, we would like to go for something like this or this one for example. Uh, I'll go for action RPG and now we would be presented with a core mechanic. There's a bunch of cool stuff that are having high Ludo score, which seems really interesting and gives us more options to add to our game idea to make it more interesting and market friendly. And this one, I'd like to go for uh, crafting. And as you can see here, you're presented with a player perspective, which means the viewpoint which the player experiences the game. That means where the camera will be as a game designer, uh, you would be also interested to know that these sort of camera views do have a low do score based on the games that exist in the market. Uh, in this case, uh, we would like to go for um, a third person view. And now we're presented with a setting or a world. So basically, that's the broader theme of the game idea. Uh, there is uh, really nice options right here. We can also, if, if we would like to uh, write something else while we're brainstorming or we have some other ideas uh, outside the span of the generated options. You can either click here and type your own or you can just refresh options if you don't have anything in mind to write and it will generate more options for you and uh, most probably with a really good uh, Ludo score usually. So it will try its best to give you good score at the same time balance it with uh, many options to expand the horizon of your brainstorm session. So uh, we'll wait till we get uh, something interesting. And uh, yeah, this one seems nice. Uh, it's a post apocalyptic world. Nice. Let's go for this one. Now we can choose the art style of uh, your game idea, which is the visual art style. You want it to be like pixel art hand painted and all of them also do have a Ludo score and uh, it's interesting to see that uh, many options here are available and uh, maybe we would like to go for uh, more options here there's like a comic book or 8 bits um, anime or manga or hand painted I'd like to go for this one And we have the color theme here, where you can choose uh, which color theme you would like your game to be in. Let's uh, write, uh, for example, we would like to have something colorful, so funky. And as you can see here, after you choose all your options, you will be presented with the option to generate your game idea or if you want to go a previous step back you can go back and edit any of the steps here or you can click on reset and reset the exact uh, uh, tool to start from the beginning in this case we're just going to click on generate game idea
and voila we have it right here we've got three interesting options as you can see here it even gives us like uh, an icon that shows uh, what type of game idea is this this one is highly aligned with the strong market trends and this one is aligned with significant market trends which makes it very interesting and as you can see there's really nice artwork here and here I like this one the most and actually this one seems interesting to check and also uh, the Ludo score in other videos you will be able to also know more about the Ludo score so you can check the Ludo score video to be able to know more on how you can utilize the Ludo score in the market and uh, daily analysis uh, market analysis and daily trends tools uh, this one has a really high score which seems very interesting and as you can see here the chart dominance the trend potential newcomer impact and creative edge all this information will be explained in the other video um, and basically uh, it depends on which game you would like to start with and you can simply click on develop this idea and it will take you to the game concept panel which includes an entire dedicated uh, game design document that is generated upon your option that is chosen so uh, these uh, features are already explained in other videos if you want to know more about the game design document there is already a video about the game concept uh, feature in uh, Ludo on our YouTube channel you can check it out and you'll be able to have more uh, information about which one of these options you can use to expand on your game idea and make sure you have a clear perspective on which game idea you want to start with or how to begin your prototyping phase thank you very much I hope it was helpful and please stay tuned on our discord if you need any information or any help we are ready to help you out and support you in your ideation process. Thank you.